So yeah, I was thinking about having some friends over for dinner and just doing something nice like steak and wine. Would you want to come over? Um, I mean, maybe I could swing by after dinner and hang out for a bit. Okay, well, why can't you make dinner? Are you working? Oh, um, no, it's not that. Well, okay, what is it then? Do you not like my cooking? No, you know you're a good cook and all, it's just that I'm- Oh my gosh, do you have a date? No. A booty call? No. Do you have the virus? What? No, why would I come for games then? Okay, then what is it? Well... I'm trying to be vegan, so I just... Wow, how do you know someone's vegan? Don't worry, they'll tell you, right? <laughs> um, well actually, you kept asking me why, so I just told you. Why are you going vegan? It's for a lot of reasons. Light? After doing a lot of research, I just found that it was better for the animals, the planet, and our health. So I just thought I'd give it a shot. Wow, you don't have to be so militant and pushy about it, okay? I'm never going to give up my steak. So whatever, just, just more for me then. And what about bacon? Mmm, bacon, yum, 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 yum. So you're just, you're just never going to have bacon again, is that right? Why do people hate vegans so much? And that intro might seem a bit ridiculous, but I've actually had conversations very similar to that. So today we're gonna to take a look at why people hate vegans, if that hate is justified, and what you can do about that hate if you're a vegan or a non-vegan. But first, let me welcome you to Vegan Yak. I'm Walter, and if you're looking for some information about veganism or tips on how to successfully go vegan and stay vegan, then make sure you subscribe to the channel down below, hit the notification bell, so that way next week when I'm yakking about something else vegan, you'll be the first to know. So let's just get started with answering the basic question, do people actually hate vegans? Yes, yes, absolutely yes. At least I know I do. High five, brother. Oh no, I'm just the cameraman. According to a study done back in 2017, vegans were viewed more unfavorably than certain other groups facing prejudice, even including other minority groups, and the only group that was viewed worse than vegans were drug addicts. And vegans were viewed worse than vegetarians, and vegan men were viewed worst of all. So I guess bring on the hate. Now this isn't meant to be a pity party for myself or vegans in general, and I wish that none of the groups in the study were experiencing any sort of hate or prejudice, but I 100% have experienced this vegan hate myself. I've had people literally yell at me when I've told them that I was vegan, or when I've told friends and family members that I can't participate in certain events and things, I've had them scoff and say things like, oh, for heaven's sake. I've seen my fair share of steak and bacon pictures and other trolling things and comments. I even saw one friend post a question about what people were doing for the environment and it didn't have anything to do with veganism but because he is vegan and often posts about it he had a bunch of people come to that post that had nothing to do with veganism and post pictures of bacon and steak and talk about how they were killing cows and first of all how sad is it that this is how our society has become i mean truly how sad and this isn't exclusive to veganism or anything but it's sad that somebody could be so angered and triggered by something that they'll go and attack another human being about that thing even when they're not talking about that thing it's just absurd and saddening now i majored in psychology and made most of my career so far in sales and i've always been really interested in what makes people tick and make certain decisions so why why is this happening why do people hate vegans Oh, because vegans suck, am I right? High five. No, still no. There's a pretty good amount of reasons why, and there's surprisingly a good amount of research that's been done on this. So I'm gonna dig in and go over what I found. And the first reason is that vegans break the happy state of cognitive dissonance that most meat eaters are in. Cognitive dissonance is the state of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude change. An example of cognitive dissonance would be someone that says they care about the environment, but they litter all the time. Now this is the state that most meat eaters are in and they aren't even aware of it, at least that's how I was. I grew up loving animals and loving seeing them anywhere. I lived with dogs, I had geckos, I loved going to the zoo and seeing animals, and I would never wish harm on them or harm on any animals. But that idea and my ideals were in direct contradiction and inconsistent with my eating habits and my lifestyle choices. I loved animals and didn't wish them any harm, but I was unnecessarily paying for them to be killed and putting their dead bodies in my mouth, or wearing their skins for clothes, or I'd be paying someone to trap them in cages for entertainment. Now the specific cognitive dissonance that is about someone saying that they love animals but eating them is known by some researchers as the meat paradox. Now because most people aren't aware of the meat paradox and their own cognitive dissonance because they never think about it, it's not like they're sitting there in some 24-7 you know, moral struggle. <sighs> That 
that, that's not happening. But ah, wait, enter the vegan. The vegan forces them to face that cognitive dissonance. They're a living, breathing example that you could be living more in alignment with your morals, and it breaks that happy state of cognitive dissonance for most meat eaters. This is the first reason that vegans are disliked and why the mere presence of a vegan could be uncomfortable for some. And because they have to face that cognitive dissonance now, they feel attacked and they feel judged, even if the vegan is just explaining why they themselves went vegan because they were asked. This is the second reason that people hate vegans. And it's important to note here that in the research, the vegans that were viewed the most unfavorably were vegans for moral considerations, not the people that were vegan for the environment or vegan for health concerns. Anytime somebody comes along and says something like, I believe doing X, Y, Z is wrong and you do X, Y, Z, you're going to feel judged. I mean, if you drink and somebody comes along and says, I think drinking is wrong, you'll feel judged. And I don't think it really matters if you agree or not with their position. You could think drinking is fine or you could agree with them and think that drinking is wrong, but either way, you're going to feel like they are judging you. And it goes without saying that people don't like feeling like they're being judged. And most people that are feeling attacked and judged begin searching for defenses, especially when it involves their own character. And this is typically where most BS meat-eating excuses start to come in, especially logical fallacies like tu quoque and other ad hominem attacks. Tu quoque, or an appeal to hypocrisy fallacy, is where somebody argues that the point a person is making is invalid because the person that's making the point is a hypocrite. But this is a logical fallacy because just because somebody's a hypocrite doesn't make their point invalid. I mean, a smoker could tell you that smoking is bad and that you should stop because smoking causes cancer. And that point isn't just all of a sudden not true because the person saying it is a hypocrite and a smoker themselves. Other ad hominem attacks often present themselves at this point as well. That's where somebody is going to attack the person rather than attacking the argument. Like those two people that are arguing about smoking, one person could say, well, smoking is good for you because you're a bald white guy. And being a bald white guy is obviously cool, so that argument is invalid. Oh yeah, and it has nothing to do with smoking. The other things that will happen here are not necessarily logical fallacies, but it's usually where someone will try to present their evidence to debunk veganism and point out all of its flaws. Because if they debunk veganism and point out all of its flaws, then they've defended themselves, they don't have to face their cognitive dissonance, and they've justified their behavior. The third reason that vegans are hated is because they're calling for change and they're vocal about it. How do you know someone's vegan? Don't worry, they'll start a vegan YouTube channel and only talk about veganism. Fair. But people hate change. Think of all the good things that people fought and hated because they didn't want change. Ending slavery, giving women the right to vote, civil rights, and many others. The list goes on. I mean, they didn't want one of those things to change so bad that they started a war over it. People hate change, especially when that change is going to result in them sacrificing some of their personal freedom. Slave owners didn't want to give up slaves because that change was going to affect their lives and their freedom, and they didn't care that it came at the expense of others' personal freedom. The same goes for smoking, especially smoking in public. You know, I remember going to restaurants as a kid and my parents requesting a booth in the non-smoking section and smokers thinking that that was ridiculous, that they should be able to smoke wherever they want. And I still know people like that. I still know people that think women are just here to serve men. I still know people that are racist and think that black people don't deserve what white people have. Hate to say it again, but people hate change. And when confronted with something that they might need to change for the greater good, they fight it and come up with reasons as to why they don't have to change. And they convince themselves that they're right and that they don't need to change. And then they end up hating the ones that are calling for the change because now those people are calling for what they believe is an unnecessary sacrifice. Vegan activists want a vegan world. That's the change we want. That's my hope and dream. I would love nothing more than the word vegan to just completely disappear, me to shut down this channel. That's the dream because there'd be no need to even distinguish between a vegan and a non-vegan anymore. And if me wanting that change causes you to hate me, then so be it. But let it be known that I want that change for the greater good of the animals, the planet, and other human beings. For the greater good of humanity, I want racism to end, and I want other minority groups to stop getting discriminated against, and I want women to be paid the same amount as men, and the list goes on and on. I want a lot of change, so hate away, I guess. Another reason that people hate vegans is because they're always having to figure out what to do with their bodies because they're always dropping dead of a protein. How'd that get on the list? Wasn't me. I don't even know like how to write with words. Another actual major reason that people hate vegans is because they feel like they're always acting smug and superior to everyone else because they are vegan. I almost don't know what to say here that you'd be able to comprehend with your tiny non-vegan brain, but I'll try. 
I mean, I totally understand this. If some buff dude was walking around always talking about how everybody should work out so they can feel good and look as good as he does, I'd probably think he's a bit arrogant, you know, and it might put me off a bit, but in all reality, even if he is a smug, pretentious buff, that doesn't discount his message. I mean, I can hate him all I want, but in all reality, he's right. I should exercise so I can be in shape and feel good. I mean, the, the science is definitely on his side that exercising is good for us mentally and physically. So I can hate all I want, but that doesn't discount his message. And that doesn't mean by exercising you will become like him either. I've met so many people, vegans included, that say they don't want to be vegan or associate themselves with that word because they think being a vegan makes you an annoying, pushy person. But just because you've met one or a hundred pushy vegans vegans doesn't mean they all are. I know plenty of pushy and annoying meat eaters, but that doesn't mean they all are. And remember that there's millions of vegans, so even though there are some pushy and annoying ones out there, there's certainly some nice ones too, and if you're a nice person, becoming a vegan likely won't change that. Most vegans I know aren't smug, and that's just anecdotal evidence, but I think that they're just viewed that way and hated for the reasons that I previously mentioned. You know, you've got someone that thinks they're doing something morally superior, they're making you face that cognitive dissonance, you might be feeling judged, and they're asking for a behavioral change. So what can you do about this hate as a non-vegan and as a vegan? Start a war! Well, if you're a non-vegan and you have some of this hate and some of these negative feelings towards vegans, then I'm sorry. You know, ultimately, I think like with all issues, you should just take some time to reflect and think about it. You know, maybe some of the things that I've presented in here are ringing true for you, and maybe that's why you find yourself trolling vegans sometimes. I mean, maybe you're mid-comment about to troll me down below, and if you have to, go ahead. I mean, let it out. Let it all out. If you're vegan and you're experiencing this hate, which is likely the case, then I'm sorry. You know, I think the best advice that I'd have for you here is just try to acknowledge the reasons why you're getting the hate and come to terms with some of it. I mean, ultimately, your mere existence as a vegan is going to be triggering for some. It's going to make them feel judged, attacked, and insecure. And there really isn't much that you can do about that, except for just trying your hardest to act out of love first. There's a great deal of compassion in our movement, and trying to tap into that first when dealing with non-vegans I think is your best bet, even if they're hating on you. I mean, ultimately, all of us were non-vegans at one point too, and I didn't become vegan because I was attacked. My walls were down, and I was presented some information through some documentaries, and that's what caused me to start making changes. So whenever you can, even though it's super hard, and I certainly suck at it plenty of times, try your hardest to act out of love first, and just try your best. If you're looking for some more videos about veganism, maybe try out this playlist here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And until next time, stop looking at what you can't do and start looking at what you can do. Thanks.